It's getting tougher both in Hawkins and in the Upside Down, and it's not looking pretty for everyone, especially Eleven. As the finale draws near, let's find out the reasons why Eleven might not survive Stranger Things 5. It's the initial plan. Stranger Things started as one of the first major TV projects for Netflix, and the massive following it has gained over the years was not expected at the time, and it was more than what was initially bargained for. After seeing how successful the show became, Netflix continued to say yes to the continuation of the show. Before the longevity was granted, the Duffer brothers had their plans for how the show would end, and now, with the report that Stranger Things 5 would be the finale, they've hinted at how they'd be going through with the original plan which has in it how Eleven would be gotten rid of. In an interview, the Duffer brothers also mentioned that while they pitched season 5 of the show to Netflix, it became so emotional that it surprisingly made executives cry. Ross Duffer said, I mean, it was hard. It's the end of the story. I saw executives crying who I've never seen cry before, and it was wild. As Ross suggested, some of the reasons they cried might have been caused by the ending of the show, which would bring their working relationship to an end, and it's sometimes a sad thing to see. However, many fans think that the emotional breakdown was caused by the discovery of who would be gotten rid of next season, and Eleven is the character who could cause such emotional moments for the executives. She had been the main focus of the show from season one, and it's so sad that she might not survive the Duffer Brothers' original plan for her. A hit back. Stranger Things has tried to keep things cool and manageable by only getting rid of favorite new characters and keeping the reoccurring and major ones safe. Despite how the series' progressions have been cool with the fans, one of the main cast of the show, Millie Bobby Brown, has taken offence at how the Duffer brothers are so scared of getting rid of the main cast, and dragging them out for being too lily-livered, as she called them the sensitive sallies, and gave them much-needed advice to learn from shows like Game of Thrones. In an interview with Millie and Noah Schnapp, the latter joked about how many characters needed to be laid off as the set is so big and full of them, to which Millie readily agreed. She said, It's way too big. Last night, we couldn't even take one group picture because there was like 50 of us. The TV star went on to tease the Duffer Brothers to get rid of her and so many other people, and she made references to how ridiculous it was to have them try to get rid of Hopper. But they couldn't deal with it and had to bring him back. Matt Duffer on the Happy Sad Confused podcast replied to Millie by saying, What did Millie call us? She said we were sensitive sallies. She's hilarious. Believe us, we've explored all options in the writing room. Matt continued by saying things are different in Hawkins as the show would never be compared with any other. He said, We aren't Game of Thrones. This is Hawkins. It's not Westeros. The show becomes not Stranger Things anymore because you do have to treat it realistically, right? With this back and forth between the show creators and one of the breakout stars, the fans think Millie has dared the Duffer to do what they like with her character Eleven in season 5. And since it's going to be the finale, the Duffers might hit back by getting rid of her. Will against Eleven. With How Stranger Things 4 Volume 2 ended, fans believe the writers have already set up the plot for season 5. Season 4 ended with Will as a likely main focus for season 5, and it appears as if Will could still feel Vecna alive and the impending damage to Hawkins. This only means that Will has an unexplained, stronger connection to the Upside Down than Eleven herself can feel. The main focus of Stranger Things 5 is teased to be centered around Will and Vecna. It's possible that Will could get consumed by the dangerous villain, as Eleven would get caught up in the fire between Will and Vecna while trying to save Will and destroy Vecna. But this fan theory continues to get weird, because since Will could be acting under the influence of Vecna, he might not recognize Eleven for who she is, and that could be the point where Eleven's weakness gets tested, as she'd be too afraid to hurt Will, who wouldn't care less but to get rid of her. A fan on Twitter in their post tweeted how Vecna could convince Will to go against Eleven in a tweet that says, Vecna kept mentioning how he wanted Eleven by his side during his whole plan. What if, in season 5, Will is convinced by Vecna and joins him? It would be heartbreaking for Eleven to have to fight Will. Will and Vecna joining forces could only spell doom that Eleven wouldn't be able to survive. Also, Will being the main focus could only mean one thing for Eleven. Her character's influence might start to reduce and the Duffer brothers might use this tragic means to bring an end to her appearance. Love Sacrifice Although some fans think it's too predictable to have Millie's character Eleven sacrifice herself to save her family, friends, and most importantly, the world, there are more indications as to why this is possible. Eleven is the type that would go to any length to help people under the Upside Down's bondage, just as she did for Max, and it could be the reason Eleven doesn't get to survive what
what will happen in season five. Fans also believe Eleven would bear the dangers caused by the Upside Down, as she was the one who opened up the barrier that led to it, and the gate was what enabled Vecna to be able to reach back to Hawkins. Seeing how big of a strain closing a single gate had on her in previous seasons, it wouldn't be far-fetched to think that closing many gates Vecna already opened wouldn't only affect her powers but could end up getting rid of her character. One fan supported this theory by bringing forth what they believed. As they mentioned, since it was meant for Eleven not to survive the first time, there's nothing that would save her the second time. The fan who's certain about Stranger Things being the complete opposite of happy endings said, I definitely do not want the show to end happily. This is horror. Some of the minor characters maybe get happiness but not the main plot or character. Another fan in their theory proposed a swap between Eleven and Vecna, who would in turn leave her stuck in the upside down. The post reads, Elle would conceivably swap places with Vecna or Max or something of that sort that would allow them to defeat Vecna, but would in turn leave Elle stuck in the upside down. The fans who supported this theory think it'll be a painful one to watch, but they think after Eleven defeats Vecna from the upside down, she'd lock the gate on herself, sealing her away forever from the rest of the world. Vecna takes Eleven. Right from when Henry met Eleven at the Hawkins laboratory, he'd taken an interest in her so they could form a bond with their powers and take over the world someday. Vecna keeps bringing up this idea whenever he gets the chance to speak to Eleven, just as he did to remind her when she piggybacked to the Upside Down to rescue Max. Stranger Things 4 showed that Vecna isn't an easy force to destroy, as he was still alive despite what the group did to get rid of him. Vecna is also a smart human monster who understands how he can do so much with Eleven. He's aware they'd be unstoppable together, especially after seeing how he was almost destroyed while acting alone. Some fans believe he won't give up until he can bring Eleven on board to solidify his grip on Hawkins and the Upside Down. The fans think that Vecna would reach out to Eleven and might force her to join forces with him. Whichever way it ends, Vecna isn't going to leave Eleven the same way he found her, and she might not be able to survive that. Lost love. One of the most talked about parts of Stranger Things 4 is the part where Will passes a superhero drawing to Mike and cries silently while talking about how love feels, especially when it doesn't feel right. This has proven many fans' convictions that Will is indeed gay and possibly in love with Mike. However, there's a wild twist to this by a fan that says Mike is only in love with Eleven because of her superpowers, and now that Will could turn out powerful in Season 5, the fan thinks Mike could start seeing Will differently. The post reads, My Stranger Things fan theory is that Mike Wheeler is also gay, and the only reason he thinks he loves Eleven is because he admires her powers and would like to be like her. Catch him and Will Snoggin in Season 5. For someone like Eleven, who flourishes in love, attention, and encouragement, this this could end up really disappointing for her, and enough to make her lose hope in trying to live a normal life. Eleven's anger when driven too far usually doesn't end well, and the fans think this could obviously lead to Eleven's destruction in Season 5, as she'd lose hope of continuing living because there'd be nothing to live for anymore. These are the reasons Eleven might not survive what's coming to Hawkins in Stranger Things 5. Do you have your own theories? Let's have them in the comments. Thanks for watching.